the AT Tiny 1627 MCU family of AVR microcontrollers are equipped with high-speed integrated analog, hardware-based core-independent peripherals, and low power performance for efficient real-time control and sensor node applications. The device family currently offers a variety of package options with a small physical footprint to help optimize board layout. The 20-pin VQFN package is only 3x3mm. The AT Tiny 1607, 1617, and 1627 families, also known as Tiny 0, Tiny 1, and Tiny 2 families, can be easily migrated in between each other for different needs of your design. While sharing a lot of basic features with the Tiny 0, the Tiny 2 definitely has a stronger presence in sensor interface applications with the enhanced analog capabilities on its ADC on the comparator. Let's take a closer look at the device. For memory resources, the AT Tiny 1627 offers 16K bytes of self-programmable flash memory, 256 bytes of EEPROM, and 2K bytes of SRAM. The internal clock can run up to 20 MHz, with single clock cycle execution and hardware multiplier. For low power applications, it has three sleep modes that give you the flexibility of controlling the power consumption. The device gives a robust operation all the way up to 5.5 volt for increased noise immunity, within a temperature from negative 40 up to 125 degrees. For quicker response to critical situations, a voltage level monitor to the VDD is provided, so you can detect the voltage drop and take actions before the brownout reset. The Tiny 2 MCU family is also recommended for safety critical applications. Documentation such as FMEDA reports and safety manual along with certified compiler are provided. This device family is packed with the latest core independent peripherals that are easy to configure and can greatly reduce the CPU usage with low power and quicker responsiveness. It is also integrated with a lot of on-chip analog peripherals that are flexible and easy to use. Let's take a look at the most significant one, the analog to digital converter on Tiny 2. With a max resolution of 12 bit, the ADC can be configured in a lot of interesting ways. It has access to a lot of external and internal inputs, and also has additional intelligent features such as auto triggering, result window comparison, and hardware accumulation, which can be very useful in signal conditioning or oversampling and averaging. It also supports differential inputs, which can greatly reduce the common mode noise and increase the resolution of signal measurement. Last but not least, the ADC is integrated with a programmable gain amplifier, or PGA, that gives the capabilities to easily measure small signals. The PGA takes differential inputs of the ADC and can amplify the signal by 2, 4, 8, or 16 times. This powerful ADC makes the Tiny 2 a very good candidate for low power sensor applications at a large scale. The easy to configure PGA helps eliminate external amplifiers and reduce cost and space. With the wired communication the device offers, you can build and customize your own sensor module and make it communicate with either a more resourceful central control unit in a larger application or even a wireless module to directly form an IoT sensor node. The hardware and software development tools make the Tiny 2 extremely easy to prototype, so your design can go to market faster. The AT Tiny 1627's Curiosity Nano board has resources such as onboard programmer, debugger, push button, LED, and access to all the pins of the MCU. Software development has never been easier since the board can be easily recognized by either Studio or MPLAB X IDE. You can leverage the graphical code generation tools to quickly set up the MCU core and peripherals. For more information on the AT Tiny 1627 MCU family, such as application notes and code examples, please visit the device webpage in the video description. Or just hit the Buy Now link and start prototyping with the Curiosity Nano board. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.